You may remember the LiDAR Light V2, which was a laser range finder that we sold from a company called Pulse Light. Now this was a very high resolution and very fast range finder, and it was great for all sorts of robotics applications. Unfortunately, they stopped selling the product because they were acquired by Garmin. But now Garmin has re-released that same product as the LiDAR Light V3. It wires up the same way as the V2, it works exactly the same way as the V2, and so it's finally back, and I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. When the V2 came out, we made a video where I was stumbling around an obstacle course wearing this pair of really ugly glasses. Now what those glasses were doing was taking the rangefinder data and turning it into vibration and sound so that I could navigate the obstacle course while blindfolded. Now I've taken that same concept this time, but made it a little bit more practical. So what I've done is I've built essentially a wand. It has the LiDAR Light V3 in the front, as well as some lights in the top so that people can tell when it's on and that you're carrying something. And then also a buzzer inside that translates the rangefinder data into a series of musical notes so that you can hear how close things are. The LiDAR Light V3 communicates using two different standards. It'll either output PWM or you can communicate with it using I2C. Now, in this application, I'm using the PWM, which is really easy to interface with an Arduino. I'm using the Pro Micro. All you do is you hook up power to the V3, then you tie the enable pin high so that the unit is working, and then you take the PWM pin and you feed it into one of the pins on your microcontroller and read it using the pulse in command in Arduino. It's really that easy. Say that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs>